yeah so as you can see it's up now hold on show the light is on the phone you can see it's up so yeah all right so this is inside the d515 uh, give me a minute Join to I was trying to turn the lights off so the boat power so boards I used to do my uh, shirt making. You're gonna be showing on the webcam so that's okay. I don't want to do that. So anyways, like as I was saying this light and there's not much dust. Mm. Uh, I might I might blow it out with a blow job. Um, Please be warned if I should do that, the blow dry is very low. So these are the inner components of the E515. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to blow this out. Um, yep, I'm gonna have to blow this out. Just dust it. Now I've used a toothbrush and the blow jar. So you see right where the fan is. And right where the heat sink is, which is this. This is the heat sink. We don't this um the fan cannot pass out air out of the system as well as uh, it keeps the vent clean and also acts as a um, I work at car again coolant. Access as a coolant. Our heat wave for the processor. Alright, but most cases the processors are actually under the fan. Or they're actually under the board. Alright, so under the board as in you're on the opposite side of the board. Alright? So I'm trying not to touch this board all the way. This is a small board. Yeah, it's a small board for you for the 15. Okay. Yeah. So let me get my brush. And what else do I need to do? Do I need to do oh yeah, I need to disconnect the battery and before I use the blow dryer. I need to take out the battery yes, yes I'm not gonna I'm not gonna select the eat the eat function for the blow jam it's gonna use the cool the cool function so let me pause this and get the blow jam all right all right oh I'll be warned oh shit all right so using my phone as you can see, to recall what's going on with the E515, but well, I'm gonna have to end the video on the phone because this phone has a temperament where we are recording something on it. Even if you're live on Instagram or Facebook, you understand that it just overeats and just shuts off. Yeah, shuts off. But at least you can actually see me while. Um, explaining to you what's going on with the E15 and like I said um, there's a cost to install a hard drive and a cost to install the windows on it I just didn't mention that to my brother because he's a friend of his so. yeah. alright give me a minute Alright, so I got a call just now and I had to start a new video on my phone. As I said, um, the screen starts to overheat already. Yeah, the screen started to overheat. Yesterday I was at my friend's funeral and I was actually videotaping and I was even taping the eulogy and the phone just went out. So what I did was actually go into the gallery and I saw that the video was there but it wasn't showing any thumbnail and it wasn't doing 
anything I, I try to play the video and say I cannot play the video but yeah so here we are yeah, and, and I really was upset about that because they did a good tribute for and um, the eulogy was great, so sucks. You know, last I spoke to her was November, December, between November, December, and then she died of a heart attack, and that was messed up in, in itself. You know, losing a father to a heart disease. Losing a nephew to a heart to a heart disease, losing a friend to a heart problem from Portland, and then now losing a friend who, who used to nag me a lot, who used to be up on the phone with me at nights, late at nights, you know, and used to go and look for. Her. Used to ride my bicycle all the way from Spanish town to Pinar to go on the far. You know, all the history, yo. Um, I gave myself a far for not communicating with her because of an argument with her. I didn't expect her to, to leave so soon. You know, because she's a couple months older than I am. She was born in June, I was born in October. So, she was a good person, even though at times to me she seemed, you know, she seemed as if she was just being herself. And sometimes to me it's like she was asking me to do stuff I couldn't manage to help her with. Or I still helped her to get, get a job, still helped her to get. Um, stuff that she needed you know by being a reference and I never expected her to, to go not even her father expected her to go because her father said that he thought that they would be the ones to, to bury him and, and not she leaving uh, so I just, come, I just just comforted him you know and, and promised him that I would actually pass through now and then I know my friend wouldn't mind because I know that she's in a better place. You know? I know that she wouldn't mind me keeping that promise. Yep. But anyways, let's let's go into the dusting of this E515. So I'm basically brushing off the port. And I'm seeing a lot of dust fly at the moment. Okay. All right. So, getting rid of the dust from outside the fan. Many people don't know, but dust is a nuisance in any aspect of technology. It can be a nuisance, just like water. Uh, when it comes to technology. For phones, tablets, laptops, laptops, computers, servers, mainframes, you name it. You know, you can um, let your system move slow. You can allow your system to, to take a long while to start up. And plus, if you have more than one antivirus, it will also let your system take long to start up and move very slowly right be honest so i've encountered these two years where persons basically have their laptops at home moving slow and i diagnose it as a virus issue or having too much antivirus on the system or dust so I have done cleaning for a customer that, that um, works with a government agency, uh, parish council in Spanish town. I was hired to, to install office on the system and 
I did a complimentary clean and I want to charge a clean I did a complimentary clean and I discovered that the laptop was filled with dust I also went to Manza I put my Manza which was the first time I did a cleaning job on a laptop that was filled with dust uh, well what brought me to put my Manza was this that the laptop right the, the the owner of the laptop for the laptop had a battery issue battery issue it turned out that it was actually dust was it was the issue so i did actually put my tip on my tongue on the laptop battery and i put it back in and it, it like came up and then went back down and i gave it two blows and I blew it out with my breath and put battery back in and the laptop started working again. So I was like thinking that look, this laptop is full of dust. So I was carried from the Nagoya taxi stand right to Portland where I did the work and the laptop. So I pulled out the laptop and I actually had to stop because my all in keys couldn't pull the rest of the laptop. So I had to definitely definitely stop where the alien keys were trust me I, I need i need i need alien keys set for laptops desperately so i'm working on getting those right uh, if you have any spare alien key sets for laptops that you're not using let me know how much you're selling them for uh, if you can donate them to my business all right would be greatly appreciated yeah because i i'm i feel i'm gonna buck up those laptops again those all in key screws yeah and i think is i did a good job on the, on the laptop a very very good job you know um first laptop they had was like it was taking long to start up you know we were thinking that it was the processor or something else you know, I, I cleaned it, I dusted it, I did a disc free defrag, I did a disc clean up you know and all that then the person bought a new battery for it and then it started working again so there's a lot of factors when owning a laptop right it can be dust it can be a virus it can be you having more than one antivirus in your system to make it move slow it can even be your battery your battery is going so it, it make your laptop start moving slow starts to start up slowly right so yeah so let's look out for this if you have those issues just let me know um whatsapp is 304 email address is lewis technology at live.co.uk uh, you can contact me on the website just click on make an appointment the website is dewis-technology.business.site all right so my video for my phone is at nine minutes and a laptop video is at 13 minutes so guess what's gonna happen now i'm gonna stop the video on both devices and then get the blow dryer and blow this laptop along with this yeah i'm gonna be blowing up this this is actually the top shelf cover i mean the cover the cover for the laptop or i should i say the hosing cover all right this is the hosing cover it has the touch pad and it has um the keyboard alright so touch pad on keyboard and yeah I can change the keyboard for this hey I can change the keyboards for this but it might cost yeah gonna definitely cost you money to ship it and to pick it up and for me to install it right so if you have a keyboard like this you have an E5 15 laptop and your keyboard and touchpad starts working 
Yeah, I definitely can assist in ordering this with my Amazon business account and in charge installation. Alright? Yeah. Now my brush just hit me at this now. Imagine that. Wicked brush. Alright, so I'm not gonna go any further because I'm only I only charged for um the new installation. This is just me doing a complimentary dust off. If you're supposed to charge P me for dusting will be actually four thousand dollars. Yeah. The rate would be two five to four thousand dollars for clean and all that. And I'm saying when I say clean, I don't mean thank you, thank you. Clean people I mean thoroughly clean. You know? Everything. I would clean everything on the laptop or the desktop for you. Right? Meaning remove the board for that for the the laptop um, use cleaning solution and the board you know put the board to dry use the blow dry on the board um everything so it's a far clean even pull the screen for the laptop clean out the bezel for the for the laptop screen um even remove the screen and yeah everything so your four thousand dollars is not going down the drain when I say a far clean of the laptop it definitely cost you four thousand dollars Alright, yeah, you remove the built in battery and everything. As I said, you know, but it doesn't make any sense. You just clean inside of a laptop, the screen also has dust in it. Well, I know that if I pull this screen right now, which I'm not gonna do, but now if I pull the screen right now, I'm gonna work up dust right inside of the bezel, and that's not good. Having dust inside of a screen bezel can let the screen overeat it can most persons don't think it won't happen but it can let the screen overeat alright so like I said I'm not gonna pull anything else pull up anything else I'm just gonna grab my blow dryer and then blow it out and I like this this is the actually this is the bay Okay, this is the B. So, so this is a DVD B, right? So just in case you want to install a DVD drive in this, in the laptop, right? You just remove the B, and then you put in your DVD drive, right? Oh. Okay.